When I started looking at this question, I realized that attempting to solve it feels like trying to light a match in the wind. Sometimes you get a spark, <laughs> but most of the time you end up with the metaphoric blown out candle. You're presented with the equation, which is built with matches. You need to move one matchstick to fix this equation, because the way it looks, it's not correct. The current equation is 7 minus 4 equals 5, which is mathematically is not correct. It is very simple equation, and all you need to do is to move just one match. And the best thing is whether you're a pro or newcomer, I trust you to conquer this challenge. Remember, time is your friend, and a little outside of the box thinking goes a long way. You've got this. Take your time, get creative, and let's crack this puzzle together. Are you ready? Let's navigate the complexities together and exchange the solutions in the end. A lot of times, these types of problems can have more than one solution. So if you have an alternative, make sure to post your ideas and comments. To solve this challenge, let's first look at the rules of what you cannot do to solve it. Number one rule is you can't break the sticks. Number two is that less and greater signs are not allowed in these equations. And last but not least is you cannot use not equal sign. For example, you can move one stick and come up with the correct equation, 1 minus 4 not equal to 5. But this is not allowed. So what can you do then to solve this challenge? Let's look at simple tips that you can apply to get to the correct solution. Number one, you need to engage in mental visualization before making any physical moves. Envision the potential rearrangement of matchsticks and how they might alter the equation. The most important consideration here, which makes this problem so challenging, is that moving one matchstick changes two elements of the equation, source where you took the matchstick from, and the destination. This is why each move should be carefully considered, taking into account its impact on both the original and new elements within the equation to achieve the desired result. Once you follow the simple tips, you need to ensure that the move aligns with the mathematical rules and creates a valid solution. And the solution here is rather simple. You need to take one match stick from the first digit and move it to the mathematical sign. The correct equation here is 1 plus 4 equals 5. Well, you wouldn't believe me, but I need to take a shower to clear off this question out of my mind. This assessment test question is as clear as a foggy mirror after a hot shower. You know there's something there, but good luck figuring that out. In this question, you are presented with three unusually looking shapes. Each shape has numbers. The first shape has numbers 1, 2, 3, and 5. The second shape has numbers 7, 11, 13, and 17. And the third shape has numbers 12, 15, 20. And then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 12. Choice B, 25. Choice C, 27. And last but not least, choice D, 29. I'm thinking I need to take a cold shower to get my mind clear so I can solve it. But believe it or not, I have full confidence in you, and I know that you can. Whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling these questions on this channel, or occasional visitor trying to learn new skills and considering a subscription in the future, I have complete faith in your ability to solve this problem. Just make sure to allocate yourself enough time, think out of the box, and maybe pause this video to get to the solution. Are you ready? Let's navigate through the complexities of this question together and compare our solutions in the end. And as usual, if you have a better way to solve this challenge, please make sure to post your solution in comments. To solve it, let's look at the numbers to better understand if we can determine the pattern. To give each shape a reference, let's give them IDs 1, 2, and 3. The first thing that comes to mind when looking at the numbers in those shapes is that we're dealing with prime numbers. In fact, the first two shapes have sequential prime numbers, 1, 2, 3, and 5, and then it continues 7, 11, 13, and 17. But then this pattern doesn't go anywhere, because it does not continue in the third shape, which means that the most likely third shape values are calculated based on the values in the shape 1 and 2. And in fact, the number in the third shape is calculated as a sum of numbers in similar position from the first shape, plus the number from the second shape 
after the 90 degree rotation. Let me explain it to you in three simple steps. Let's build a simple table. Each shape has four numbers, which means that our table would need to have four columns. The first row will have numbers from the first shape. The second row will have numbers from the second shape. And then the third row will have the calculated numbers. If we just put numbers from the same position, the logic doesn't make sense. But as soon as we shift the second row to the left, you see that the math now makes total sense. For example, 1 plus 11 equals 12. 2 plus 13 equals 15. 3 plus 17 equals 20. Which means that 5 plus 7 equals 12. So the correct answer here is choice A, 12. Solving this challenge reminded me of an old joke. The car set to the plane. They say comparing our speeds is like comparing apples to oranges. And the plane's response was, well, at least I'm flying high while you're down there dealing with the traffic jams. With that in mind, here's the problem we need to solve. A car takes three hours to travel 210 miles, while a plane covers 1,260 miles in two hours. By how many times is the plane faster than the car? And you have four choices to choose from. Choice A, six times. Choice B, seven times. Choice C, eight times. And last but not least, choice D, nine times. Joking aside, I gotta tell you, whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling challenging questions on this channel or an occasional visitor trying to learn new skills and considering a subscription in the future, I have complete faith in your ability to overcome and solve this challenge. Just be sure to grant yourself enough time and think out of the box. Are you ready? I have full confidence that you've solved it on your own, so I'm going to continue this adventure and share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. Well, if you know a little bit about origins of this joke, you know that you can't compare apples and oranges. So to find the difference in this problem, we need to calculate the speed per hour and compare the speeds of plane and the car. The car speed can be calculated as 210 divided by 3, which would be equal 70 miles per hour. The plane speed can be calculated as 1260 divided by 2, which equals 630 miles per hour. So the difference between plane and the car would be 630 divided by 70 speeds of the plane and the car, which would be equal to 9, which means plane is 9 times faster than the car. So the correct answer here is choice D, 9. This tricky question reminded me my luck with USB stick. It always feels like a 50-50 chance, but somehow I never get the right way. But I'm pretty sure you will. This is why this question is for you. You're presented with the sequence of numbers. The numbers are 21, 13, 34, 47, 71, 18. And then comes the missing number, which you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 81. Choice B, 85. Choice C, 89. And last but not least, choice D, 91. As I mentioned, you need to solve this challenge on your own and let your brain superpowers shine. When you've cracked the code and have a solution, share your answer in comments for the victorious discussion. I am excited to learn about your solution and offer my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this intriguing challenge. You might disagree, but I gotta tell this to you anyway. Trying to understand this question is like attempting to teach a dog advanced calculus, confusing for everyone involved. But hey, once you coach your dog, you can definitely call the audience for help, especially with this question. Your mission in this adventure is to find a special symbol to put between 3 and 7. This magical symbol should make a number that is more than 3 but less than 7. Sounds tricky, right? I can tell you this, being an existing subscriber and challenging your brain regularly with us or potentially considering to become a future subscriber, I have full confidence that you can solve this challenge by giving yourself enough time to think about it. Are you ready? 
I'm going to continue this adventure and delve into intricacies of this amazing question. If you are still thinking about the answer, I'm gonna give you a hint. Do not limit yourself to just the basic math signs and think out of the box. Want additional hint? Take a look at the choices presented here. Choice A plus sign, choice B minus sign, choice C multiplication sign, and then choice D question mark. Does this ring a bell? That there is no sign here that actually solved this challenge. That's because these signs are too basic for this puzzle party. Here comes the hero, the dot sign. Sneaky and clever, it slides between 3 and 7, turning them into the cool team of 3.7. All we need to do now is to verify the answer. 3.7 is greater than 3, and 3.7 is less than 7. So the correct answer here is dot sign, and the answer is 3.7. Well, you might be surprised, but this test question is more complex than convincing your cat that the red dot is not the actual enemy. Can you outsmart the laser pointer of perplexity? You are presented with cool looking shapes. These shapes have numbers on the outside and letter inside. The numbers in the first shape are 1, 2 and 3, and the letter inside is X. In the second shape, the numbers are 4, 5 and 6 and the letter is N. In the third shape, the numbers are 7, 8, and 9, and there is a missing letter which you need to determine and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, Q. Choice B, R. Choice C, S. And last but not least, choice D, T. Are you ready to dig deeper? Give yourself enough time to uncover the next layer of brilliance. I have full confidence that you've got the answer. But just in case, make sure you grab your thinking cap on this expedition. We're about to explore the twists and turns of your next brain teaser. As you might have guessed, the trick here is to determine the pattern. And the pattern here is extremely simple. The letter inside the shape is the last letter of the word which represents the sum of all the numbers. Let's look at the example. In the first shape, the numbers are 1, 2 plus 3. The sum of 1, 2 and 3 is 6. This is why the letter inside is X. In the second shape, the numbers are 4, 5 and 6. 4 plus 5 plus 6 equals 15. And the letter on the inside is N. Now it's easy to calculate the missing letter. 7 plus 8 plus 9 equals 24. The last letter of words 24 is R. So the correct answer here is choice B, R. Get ready to rock your brain muscles. This question is so challenging that even Siri asked for help. You are presented with series of equations. The first equation is 3 plus 4 equals 21. The second equation is 4 plus 5 equals 36. The third equation is 5 plus 6 equals 55. And then the last equation 6 plus 7 equals, and this is where you need to rock your brain muscles, because you need to calculate the missing number. And once calculated, select it out of four possible choices. Choice A, 72. Choice B, 74. Choice C, 76. And last but not least, choice D, 78. Make sure to examine original expressions closely and see if you can get to the correct solution. ready? Let's dive and unravel this challenge together. I'll share with you my solution and if you have a better way to solve it, make sure to post in comments. If you are a subscriber or maybe considering to become a subscriber, you probably know that to solve this challenge you need to always look for patterns. And the pattern here is the result is calculated as a sum of both numbers multiplied by the first number. Let's look at the example in row 1. 3 plus 4 equals 7, and then you need to multiply 7 by 3, which is the first number, and 7 by 3 equals 21. This is how we came to the result. The tip I would like to leave you with to solve these types of challenges is to think creatively out of the box and consider that the expression may not represent standard math calculations. Knowing this, let's calculate the values in row 2. 
4 plus 5 multiplied by 4 equals 9 multiplied by 4 equals 36. For 03, the values will be 5 plus 6 multiplied by 5 equals 11 multiplied by 5 and equals 55. So the missing value is calculated as 6 plus 7 multiplied by 6, which would equal 13 multiplied by 6, and the end result of this is 78. So the correct answer here is choice D, 78. I think you're ready to try your skills to solve this problem. And this particular one is so easy. It's like uh, trying to convince a toddler that nap time is a good idea. A little bit challenging for me, but I'm pretty sure you will be very successful. You're presented with three cool looking shapes. Each shape has circles and triangles. The first shape has numbers on the inside, 5, 7 and 2, and the numbers on the outside, 2, 3 and 4. The middle number for the first shape is 5. The second shape has inside numbers 7, 8 and 9. The outside numbers are 5, 6 and 7, and the middle number is 6. The third shape has inside numbers 5, 6 and 8. The outside numbers are 3, 7 and 1, and middle number is missing. You need to calculate it and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 6. Choice B, 7. Choice C, 8. And last but not least, choice D, 9. Solve this challenge on your own and let your cognitive superpowers shine. When you've cracked the code and have a solution, share your triumph in comments for a victorious discussion. I'm excited to learn about your solution and offer my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this intriguing challenge. And now it's time to grab your thinking goggles. This question is so intricate, Sherlock Holmes would need a cheat sheet. You're presented with two diamonds. Each diamond has four numbers inside. In the first diamond, numbers are 8, 6, 2, and 4. And in the second diamond, numbers are 5, 2, 2, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 1. Choice B, 3. Choice C, 5. And last but not least, choice D, 7. Investigate closely and determine if the solution emerges from the careful observation. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have guessed, the key to solve this challenge is to determine the pattern. And to determine the pattern, you need to consider different possibilities, sequence and orders. The flow of calculation may not be the same each time. Take a close look at the diamond that has all the numbers. The pattern here is that the left and the right digits in the diamond represent a single number, which is calculated as a top number in the power of the bottom number. Let's look at the example. For example, the top number in the left diamond is 8 and the bottom number is 2. 8 in the power of 2 is 64. Now let's look at the missing value. 5 in the power of 2 is 25. So the correct answer here is choice C, 5. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.